I'm Jane Steinberg, General Manager at the Networks of Mid Missouri. Our family of television stations is honored to support the Ronald McDonald House in Columbia, both on the air and in these internet updates. As our local house gets ready to open its doors, we'll be here to support the cause every way we can. Hi, I'm ABC 17's Christy Reeder, and we have an update on the Ronald McDonald House building a house to call home. Sitting with me here is Executive Director Terry Gray. Terry, first just tell us about Ronald McDonald House, what it means for the community. The Ronald McDonald House is very important for the community, not just Columbia, but it's really important for the mid-Missouri area since that's where we draw the greatest number of our families to be engaged and informed about what the house provides and how they can help serve the families that come from their communities as well. We've been here for 30 years. We've served over 25,000 families. Last year we served about 85 percent of the state so we had families from really almost all of the counties in Missouri and we provide a home away from home for families whose child is sick or injured and receiving treatment at one of the local medical facilities. Now let's talk about the big project that you've been working on, building a new house to call home. What will this new house offer for people? The new house will actually be located right next to MU's Women's and Children's Hospital. And as you know, when your child is sick, it's so important to be close by and, and have a convenient location. Um, the new house will have 18 bedrooms, all with private baths. We'll have an elevator, it will be ADA accessible. We'll have ample parking and lots of amenities for the families to enjoy. Terry, tell us a little bit about the need for building a house to call home, this project. Right now, how does the house, the current house that Columbia has, how often is that being used and do you have to turn families away? Occasionally, and unfortunately, we do have to turn families away. Um, we normally run at near full capacity. Um, unfortunately, our existing house is down to eight bedrooms, so that's the number of families we can serve at any given evening. Last year, we had over 27 families that we had to turn away because we did not have open rooms for them, and that's really unfortunate. We don't like to get in that situation. So the new house will more than double in size and we'll have 18 bedrooms for them. So we'll be able to serve many, many more families. And what is the capital fundraising goal for this project? Our fundraising goal is $2.6 million and we raised nearly $1.9 million towards that goal. We're also very excited to announce our recent grant from the Maybe Foundation. It's a challenge grant, so Every dollar we raise towards 250000 will be matched by the Maybe Foundation. And where are you in the building process so far? In 2012, we started and completed the exterior of the home. And in just the spring, just recently, we started construction of the interior. And that should all be completed by early 2014 and will be fully operational. Um, and that's all dependent on our ability to raise the remainder of the funds that we need to complete the house. All right, so we talked about the goal. What can the community do to help you reach this goal? We've been really fortunate here in Columbia that the community has stepped up and supported the campaign to date. Um, what we really need is for businesses and individuals to help us complete our construction goal. How easy is it for people to be able to donate? It's extremely easy. They can go online, they can drop a check in the mail, they can give us a call, we'd be happy to meet with them. Um, really, every gift that we get is so important to us, regardless of size. So it's important um, for us to receive large gifts like the Maybe Foundation grant, but also the small gifts that, that are really important to us too. And why do families not only just need a house, but as well as a home? Well, as I mentioned earlier, um, the families that we serve are going through an extremely challenging time. Um, so it's important at the end of a long day after they've been at the hospital with their child that they can come to a place where they know they can rest, they can take a hot shower, they can get a hot meal, and just find comfort in a safe environment. We ask that our families make a donation, a nightly donation of $15, but many of the families we serve can't afford that. So no one is turned away because they can't afford to pay. So donations to the house help not only build a new house to call home, but also help to house the families when they need our, our assistance. Well, Terry, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today about this need that Columbia has for finishing this project. You're really close. And like you heard Terry say, if you would like to make a donation, there are many ways to be able to do that. You can just contact the Ronald McDonald House.